What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Professor Anime and welcome back to yet again another video here on the channel. Today we will be discussing Tokyo Ghoul Re episode 1. That is right, Tokyo Ghoul is finally back. Did we want it back? Will be the biggest question of today's video. Without further ado, let's begin the video. All right, so Tokyo Ghoul is finally back, people, with a brand spanking new anime. This is technically part two of Tokyo Ghoul. Sure, we had season one and season two of the original Tokyo Ghoul animated by Studio Periot. And in Tokyo Ghoul Re, part two of Tokyo Ghoul's universe, we get yet again another adaptation by Studio Periot. So whether this adaptation is going to be good in the eye of the beholder is totally based upon your opinion alone and my opinion is going to differ from everyone else's opinion so please keep that in mind when it comes down to this video i love tokyo ghoul i you know do live reactions to the weekly chapters that come out every single week and all i gotta say is that it is a fantastic series now tokyo ghoul Re's anime Okay, finally, we got a brand spanking new anime for Tokyo Ghoul. But the thing is, did we really want it because of the mishaps that have happened in the previous seasons of Tokyo Ghoul? Tokyo Ghoul season one was actually okay, I personally felt. They did make it more shonen esque, but for the most part, it was actually a very well, you know, adapted piece. Now, season two of Tokyo Ghoul is where everything went haywire from Studio Periot. There were just things skipped over, did not make sense, and simply just, you know, they did not follow the manga whatsoever. Now, when it comes to Studio Periot animating Tokyo Ghoul Re for at least this very first episode, they do follow the manga. However, when it comes down to the episode, they adapted a total of six chapters of the manga six chapters and several events or explanations more specifically were skipped over and that's a problem you see certain events at tokyo ghoul part one have led up to this moment in what we see in tokyo ghoul re however in the anime of Tokyo Ghoul Re, they were not really explained, you know, quite at all. There are certain things that you can pick up on, and this is probably why I believe um, they did a marketing campaign with Tokyo Ghoul like a, a while ago, saying that, hey, you know what, volumes one through, I, I believe it was 14, whatever, you know, the entirety of the Tokyo Ghoul part one manga was going on sale, and they said that, hey, you know, Everyone, you should go ahead and watch the part one anime so that way you can get caught up and see what's actually going on in Tokyo Ghoul Re. And while that probably would have helped, the thing is, is that in this first episode of Tokyo Ghoul Re, the thing is, is that several explanations were actually skipped over as to how the world is as of right now. I don't really know if they'll explain that later on or not, but they adapted a total of six chapters of the manga. And when it comes down to you anime only is out there of Tokyo Ghoul, I honestly just go ahead and read the manga because trust me, you're missing out on a lot of content when it comes down to Tokyo Ghoul. And while you're at it, you might as well read Tokyo Ghoul Re at this point. One of the things they actually skipped over when it came down to this first episode of Tokyo Ghoul Re that I noticed is the world building as far as how the world is, what it is uh, right now as compared to what we saw in the previous Tokyo Ghoul and that mainly has to do with the CCG. As we see in this first episode of Tokyo Ghoul Re, we actually noticed that some of the investigators have technically been ghoulified in a sense, you know, there's like a little ghoulification process that has been undergone in the CCG that has cause some of you know the units within the group to actually possess ghoul like powers in the anime though they kind of just show that they don't explain it so that's one little con that i had with the anime but let's continue and if you haven't noticed technically my second con would be the fact that they adapted six chapters which in a sense they rushed 
the living shit out of this first episode of Tokyo Ghoul Re, to be quite honest with you, because of the fact there is a certain build-up to these character interactions before we actually get to the sixth chapter within the Tokyo Ghoul Re anime to where we see the hunting down of Torso and whatnot. I mean, there's kind of like a little build-up between chapters one through six, but in the anime, they kind of rushed it and skipped over certain events. And one of the major things that I actually noticed when I came down to this episode of Tokyo Ghoul Re that they skipped over as well is who Mitsuki is, necessarily, okay? Um, later we find out some, you know, interesting things about Mitsuki, and there's a certain event that takes place within the manga with uh, Torso and Mitsuki in the uh, taxi cab, um... We actually see a certain event play out that is kind of like a, oh, okay, you guys will probably know what I'm talking about. In the anime, yeah, that skipped over too. So it kind of actually doesn't really provide Mitsuki with a whole lot of intrigue and character development that kind of actually leads up to other events later on, or at least, you know, who she is as an individual. Oh, excuse me, did I say she... So, yeah, there's a couple of frustrating things that I had with this episode of Tokyo Ghoul Re. Uh, the certain cons that I noticed, you know, there did seem to be a few things that were skipped over and rushed over. They adapted six chapters. In most anime, you, you probably get at least two to three chapters adapted when it comes down to a single episode, at the very least. But this episode adapted six chapters, so everything was quite rushed. You can kind of get a gist of what's going on but still there would have been a lot more context into developing you know these relationships with the characters before getting to this point that we see now at the end of the conclusion to episode one of Tokyo Ghoul and it's just really unfortunate and what's also unfortunate is the fact that it has now been confirmed that Tokyo Ghoul Re will be at least 12 episodes you heard me right 12 episodes now, this could possibly change, we could probably get, we most likely will probably get another core of Tokyo Ghoul Re, but as far as what's airing right now, yeah, we're getting at least 12 episodes, not 24. What's also quite unfortunate about it is that Heisei Sasaki uh, it kinda is introduced in a weird way. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of context behind him other than he bears the resemblance of Ken Kaneki. Um, but we do see that at the conclusion of this episode of Tokyo Ghoul Re that it just kinda makes it apparent that Hayasei Sasaki seems to, you know, have some sort of connection with Ken Kaneki. There is probably going to be more dived into that later on, hopefully, but as far as what was introduced in the episode, there's really not a whole lot to go off of in manga. Like I said, I hate to bring the manga up in things, but the manga kind of elaborates more onto the origins of Hayase Sasaki. So hopefully we'll see a little bit more of that in the anime pop up in the future. But yeah, so in this very first episode of Tokyo Ghoul Re, we actually see that the Q squad led by Hayase Sasaki is looking for a man named Torso, who happens to be a ghoul who has been committing these murders throughout the vicinity, and they are tracking them down. And judging by the ending of this very first episode of Tokyo Ghoul Re, they do in fact find him, uh, but they get into a confrontation with another ghoul named Serpent. So, yeah, that is pretty much the summary of this episode. I won't go into any spoilers because I'm pretty sure there are a few of you who actually do want to check this uh, first episode out for yourself. But just keep in mind that when it comes down to the first episode of Tokyo Ghoul Re, it does not really showcase the entirety of what you see in the manga. And that was kind of something that had to be expected when it came down to the production of this anime, led by Studio Periot. So, just try to go into this with an open mind. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of anime onlys will enjoy this, but when it comes to manga readers, I'm pretty sure you will be frustrated out of this very first episode. 
Now, some of the pros that I can actually give when it comes down to this adaptation of Tokyo Ghoul Re is the fact that this anime actually has quite nice animation. Studio Periot does know how to actually bring animation to Tokyo Ghoul, and in here it shows as well. Season 1 had beautiful animation. I personally thought there were, you know, the occasional hiccups, but for the most part, you know, it was actually pretty good to look at. So was Season 2. Season 2, the best thing about it was the music and the animation. And this, this has pretty good animation and music as well and I actually kind of got adapted to the you know art style that we see now because I remember when I was watching the PVs of Tokyo Ghoul I was you know kind of put off just a little bit by the art style but as I watched this very first episode of Tokyo Ghoul Re it kind of actually grew on me so when it comes down to the animation I gotta say Studio Periot did it actually you know very good job when it comes down to the animation but yeah, and, and the character, the, the art as well, when it comes down to the character designs, is good as well. But yeah, that is honestly the only thing that I can really say uh, that really is good about this is the you know animation and music um i'm liking the voice actors as well uh but yeah certain events on how the story played out when it comes down to these six chapters that were adapted it just it, it was rushed i don't know why they decided to you know make you know six chapters adapted within one single episode i mean i get that you have at least you know a 12 episode time frame that you need to complete but I mean, come on, come on, six episodes, that, 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 that's too much, that's too much. So yeah, when it comes down to anime onlys, you guys will probably really enjoy this episode of Tokyo Ghoul, I mean, it's back, I actually am glad Tokyo Ghoul is back, but at the same time, just judging how this first episode was handled, it really does pose a lot of worry to the rest of the series out there, and yeah, it's probably going to be, you know, not that good, in, you know, in the coming episodes, uh, but at least they're following the manga this time around, am I right? But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments down below of the very first episode of Tokyo Ghoul Re. How did you like the animation? How did you like the fight scenes? How did you like the voice acting? Just let me know everything in the comments down below that you liked and you disliked about this episode. And with that said, everyone, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you're glad that actually Tokyo Ghoul Re is, or Tokyo Ghoul in general, is back. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos from me. We'll see where the Tokyo Ghoul Re anime leads us. With that said, everyone, thank you everyone for watching. Catch you all in the next one. Peace out.